This is the Business Herald's Executive Pay Survey, where we take a look at how much the biggest listed companies in New Zealand pay their leaders. Let's reveal the top 10 highest paid chief executives in the 2022 financial year. Starting with number 10, it's Geoffrey Greenslade, the head of Heartland Group Holdings, which operates Heartland Bank. He earned $3 million last year. Ninth is Jolly Hodson, the chief executive of telecommunications company Spark, earned $3.1 million last year. She stepped into the role in 2019 after previously being the company's customer director and chief financial officer. Angela Mentis from the Bank of New Zealand earned $3.3 million in 2022. She was the chief executive of the bank but has since moved to its Australian parent, National Australia Bank. Don Braid of Main Freight comes in seventh highest paid with a packet of $3.37 million in 2022. Braid's been with the transport company since 1994. He was appointed to its board in the year 2000. In sixth is Nick Grayston, the chief executive of the Warehouse Group, earning $3.5 million. He's previously worked for retailers Sears and Foot Locker. In fifth place is Victoria Short, the chief executive of ASB Bank, earning $3.9 million. Short came to lead ASB in 2018 from its parent Commonwealth Bank in Australia, where she oversaw marketing and strategy. In fourth place, earning just shy of $4 million is Lewis Graydon, the chief executive and managing director of Fisher & Paykel Healthcare. An engineer by trade, Graydon has spent 38 years at Fisher & Paykel. He's been the boss for the past eight of them. Coming in third and well into the $4 million range is Fonterra's Chief Executive, Miles Hurrell. Hurrell took over the top job at the Dairy Cooperative in 2018 when it was in financial strife. He's led a reset of the cooperative's strategy to sell off international assets and focus on New Zealand milk. It's a big jump in pay for second place. Fletcher Building's boss, Ross Taylor, earned $6.58 million in the 2022 financial year. Taylor entered the construction company in 2017. 30% of his pay is base salary, and 70% of it is performance-based. Taylor was the highest paid chief executive in 2021, but he's now been superseded. New Zealand's highest paid chief executive is John Cullity, the CEO of EBOS Group. He was paid $6.64 million last year, most of which was incentive payments. EBOS is a distributor of healthcare products and is known for its leading position in animal and pet care as the owner of Animates. The company generated a record $10.7 billion in revenue in the 2022 financial year. Cullity was EBOS Group's chief financial officer before stepping into the chief executive role in 2018. Read everything else you may want to know about the Business Herald Executive Pay Survey on nzherald.co.nz. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.